So I'm uh, back out with my uh, cruise with issues. And uh, about 10 months ago, I did a video on this uh, temperature gauge that was not registering. And uh, I'm actually just taking my, this is my son's car and I'm just taking it home for an oil change. And I see that my temperature gauge is uh, acting up again. So, the last time I addressed this, I had changed a couple of sensors in the water outlet valve. And I had also replaced the thermostat. So this is a little bit disappointing right now. I've been driving for about half an hour and I'm not registering any heat. So uh, I'm gonna get the car home. I'm gonna bring it in for an oil change anyway and uh, we'll have a peek around, see what's, uh, see if we can see anything obvious. Okay, so I got the car inside and uh, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna do the oil change first. So I just pulled this uh, air pipe out of the way. That's my oil filter. Um, but the main reason why I'm showing this is because the car is not registering any temperature. And when I open this hood, I can see uh, the rodents have been back in here. So I was thinking maybe, I know there's a sensor right, right here. This is one of the key sensors for the temperature right there. But I don't see, it doesn't look like anything's been chewed. It does look intact. Now, my temperature gauge is not registering and my coolant fluid, I just touched it. It's not, it's not as hot as it should be. It almost seems as if, <clears throat> bring the light over. It's acting as if, stick up there, will you? It's acting just like, um, what's it down, is it down here? The uh, thermostat. It's acting like the thermostat has failed open again. And I literally just changed the thermostat. Uh, I was looking at my old videos about 10 months ago. So uh, it's a little disappointing. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna pop this hose out of the way, see if I can see anything obvious. Yeah, well, there's that thermostat right there, and there's the uh, that small connector. I mean, there's nothing. There's nothing really to see. I don't see anything disconnected or loose. Doesn't look like anything's been chewed. So, yeah, this was a this was an aftermarket um, <clears throat> thermostat. And the thermostat, when you change the thermostat on a cruise, it's the uh, thermostat, complete housing with the thermostat inside. All plastic, of course. Um, it almost seems like this has failed again. Looks like we're going to have to replace this. Not very impressed. Ten months. Okay, well, this is just going to be a quick video. And uh, I got my oil change done. I cleared out uh, some of that mouse debris or squirrel debris, whatever it is, I poked in there with a the screwdriver. Um, it really looks like I have a failed thermostat again. So uh, I'm gonna do a follow up on this one. This was an aftermarket one, like I said, it was a Dorman brand, I remember that, it was a Dorman. And I uh, got it from Rock Auto, so I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna order another one. I'm gonna go on Rock Auto right now, I'm gonna order a thermostat and housing for the cruise. Uh, I will not order a doorman. I'll try something different and I'll do a follow-up video when I pop this in to see if it uh, See if it restores uh, my temperature Okay, that's all for now Thanks for watching Okay, well, it's a week later and uh, my thermostat just arrived So uh, I'm gonna be replacing this thermostat again so this time I decided to go with the uh, the Gates brand. I mean, I don't know if it'll make a difference. I think that one was a doorman. Um, anyway, again, I replaced this thermostat about 10 months ago and uh, everything was running fine and all of a sudden I notice uh, the car, the, uh, the temperature gauge is just not going up. So, 
The only thing I can think of is a failed thermostat. Um, all the other sensors had been replaced and this would be the main culprit letting too much coolant go by and not letting the engine uh, overheat. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, kind of hard to believe that this would fail after 10 months but who knows this is all cheap plastic stuff so uh, I'm gonna replace this again. 8 millimeter socket there's three screws that hold this in I'm gonna let go the uh, the connector on top for the sensor there's the radiator hose here that I gotta let go I'm just gonna pull this up on this clip this will slide out and there's another little hose back here if you can see back there there's a little hose on a hose clamp mm, hard to see where is it right it's right in there right comes off the side of the thermostat it's basically it's this one here it is this hose right here so this sits in like this pointing up big radiator hose goes on the front sensor plugs in here and a little hose goes over here just with the hose clamp so gonna lose a little bit of coolant not gonna worry about it uh, we'll just freshen that up okay let me just pop this off and we'll see if if the thermostat has failed or we'll see if there's anything obvious the last time I changed the thermostat when I took it off the spring and everything fell apart so I, I knew it had failed so I don't know what I'm gonna find I'm not even sure if this is going to solve my issue, but uh, it's looking like this. So let's 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 see. Okay, well, this is kind of interesting. I just pulled the thermostat out, uh, just like I was explaining. The three screws, three screws, one, two, three. The small hose, the connector. I pull my thermostat out, and this is what I find. Oh my gosh. Now, at first thought, I thought, what the heck is going on here? But, I'm not 100% sure, but anyway. Um, okay, off camera, I put my lips around this. And I can blow straight through. This is wide open. I can see daylight through here. This thermostat is completely jammed open. Completely. The new thermostat, if you blow, air goes nowhere. My thermostat is jammed open. That is exactly why I have no heat in this engine. Now, uh, I think, I think I might know what this is. When I did this job 10 months ago, as a precaution, and I'm going to put the video, I'm going to put the video in with this one, so if, if you're having troubles with your thermostat, you can watch this video, and you can also watch my previous video. In my previous video, I poured a bottle of uh, one of those head gasket stop leak copper type things. Uh, and I mean, I was having no issues with my head gasket or nothing. I just thought on a car with higher mileage, I thought it would be maybe a precaution to put some of that product in to circulate around to seal up any small imperfections. Well, I think what happened, I think that's what this is. I think this is that copper stuff. I, I think, I think, dang. It would make sense, maybe. That stuff might have made its way in there and formed a bit of a clump and uh, completely jammed my thermostat open. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I'll put the new thermostat in. I will fill this up with water, dump it, run it, dump it, and then put the proper coolant in. Because I'd hate to think that there's some residue in there now. The stuff that came out looked pretty good and I just I just I did just let it run out. I'm not gonna try to save it. There's obviously no point. And I'm gonna open this up. I was trying to so anything. This was acting like a bit of a siphon, so maybe keeping some fluid in. 
but I don't want any of that nasty fluid. So I'm gonna do a water flush, new thermostat. We'll take the car for a drive, see if our needle goes back up to normal. Poor old car, running cold. Can you, I don't know if you can see that. You can see, I can see daylight through there. Yep. Well, I'm glad, in a way I'm glad, I believe I found my issue. Um, dang, only 10 months old. And uh, perhaps I may have been the cause of this. Because in the other video, if you watched that one, when I took the old thermostat out, the spring and everything just all fell apart. Everything was just, it just disintegrated. Uh, just like a lot of all of these plastics, when they get old, they start to fall apart. Okay. Let's get on with this and uh, see if we can restore this engine temperature. Okay, I just topped up my coolant. Got some of that orange stuff. I'm uh, gonna run the car up now. I'll let it run for a bit with the... Uh, put the cap off. Let's see if we burp any air out of here. Now, let this settle for a bit and we'll go for a quick spin. See if we've gained anything on our on our temperature here. I really hope so. Okay, I have literally just left my house. I've been driving for about three minutes and uh, my temperature gauge is on the way back up. So we'll drive a little bit here. Uh, yeah. I believe that needle should be right down in the middle. So let's give it another couple minutes and uh, we'll pull over here. See if our temperature is decent. We'll check under the hood, make sure there's no leaks or anything. And uh, yeah, I think we found our problem. Okay, well, I'm back from my drive. This was only like barely 10 minutes. There's my temperature needle, kind of right where it should be. I mean, it's. Uh, it is winter, so you know if it was, uh, you know, a scorching hot summer day, maybe it'd be a little bit warmer. But I think this is good. We found our issue. Now let's double check under the hood and uh, make sure we got no leaks. Don't see any leaks. Everything looks good. I think we're back to normal. So that was our issue. The car was running cold and it was caused by a clogged thermostat. And I'm pretty sure it was because of uh, this product that I put in. This is what I put in 10 months ago. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.